those who are tuned in via YouTube, this is a part two of question and answers. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, we had another question, Brother Julius. What's another question, brother? What happens immediately after death? Wow. What happens immediately after death, brothers and sisters? Mm. Do you go to heaven? Do you go to hell? Uh, the sister wanted to know, Alanda, which happens to be her birthday also today. Happy birthday, sister. Wants to know, um, what happened? When a person dies, do you mm. immediately go to heaven um, or do you immediately go to hell or, or what happens, brothers and sisters? Uh, there's a couple of places we can go. Let's go to Genesis. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. Genesis. Chapter uh, 2. Okay. Genesis chapter uh, 2. Okay. And verse 7. Genesis 2 and 7 and it reads. What do it say? And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and uh -huh. breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. And man became, no, a soul was put in the man. It didn't say that, brothers and sisters. A soul is not a spirit. We've been misinformed. A spirit is what goes inside of the soul. A soul is nothing but the flesh and blood body. So what kind of soul was the man before God breathed into his nostrils? Uh -huh. He was a dead soul. And when God put his spirit inside of the man uh -huh. by breathing into his nostrils, it says, and Lord God, I'm sorry, it says, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Wait, man breathed, formed from what? And breathed, the dust of the ground. The dust and, of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. In other words, that body became alive, brothers and sisters. So now, black guys, skip down to verse uh, 16 and read it. Genesis 2 and 16, and it reads, uh -huh. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but yeah. the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely what? Die. The man didn't listen, did he? He did not. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. We're uh -huh. going through this pretty quick so we can get another question in the, there, brothers and sisters. The man didn't listen, so the Lord had to pass judgment. And what was God's judgment? For the woman, she gonna be subjected to her husband. Her husband gonna have rulership over her. She gonna have uh, labor pains during childbirth. Okay, the man's punishment. Verse nineteen, Genesis three and nineteen, and uh -huh. it reads: "And the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, till thou return into the ground." Uh -huh. For till you I, what? Till you return into the ground. But wait a minute! But he got you from the ground. That's right. So we uh, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Read it. Read it again. And the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return into the ground. Uh -huh. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Okay, let's go to Job the 14th chapter. Job 14. The wisest man who, uh, one of the, the book called one of the righteous men. Job, Job 14. Job chapter 14, verse 1, Ice. Job 14 and 1. Uh huh. <laughs> Y'all pardon him, he got this uh, real bad cold. But we're going to get through this. Job 14 and 1? Well, yeah. And it reads, Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Now, wait a minute. God got man from where? The ground. And then he clothed up and operated on Adam, put him to sleep and took what out of Adam? He did. His rib. And made the what? Made the woman. And everybody after that came out of the woman. That's right. Oh, that's learning something on the way to learning something, sisters and brothers. He got man from the dust of the ground. He got the rest of the people from the woman. Now, man that is born of a woman is few days and full of trouble. Uh huh. Now, verse 14, Black Ice. Go ahead. Job 14 and 14. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The book says, verse 10. Verse 10. I'm going ahead of myself. Job 14 and 10. Read it, brother. But man dies. But and, man die. And waste away. Uh huh. Yeah, man give up up the ghost. And where is he? Wait a minute. He give up the what? The breath of life, brother Judas. Oh, that's the ghost that Jesus gave up. Uh huh. Oh, remember it was the breath of life that was put in him uh -huh. that made him come alive, which is the spirit and then of life. When he dies, he gives back up uh -huh. what God put in him, which so, was the breath of life or the ghost. Okay, so he said, "But man, do what, black eyes? Man, uh, but man dieth and wastes away. Uh -huh. Man give up the ghost, and where is he? Yeah, and where is he? Skip down to verse twelve and read it. So man lieth down and riseth not till the heavens be no more. Uh huh. So he rise he he. He lies down. You, where are you doing in that grave? You laying down. And he don't rise again, it says, until the heavens be no more. How many heavens is it? There are three, brother. Jim. Oh, we, that, that's another lesson. Come on, Ice. They shall not awake. 
Uh huh. Nor be raised up out of their sleep. What? Until the heavens are no more. We just read it, Brother Julie. Okay, well, then read verse 13 and tell me where a man goes or a woman goes or a baby go when they die. Let the book speak. Job 14, 13. Yes. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave. Oh, no, no, no. Take me to heaven. He didn't say Immediately that. Immediately after I die, take me to heaven. He didn't say that. What he do said, it say? Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret uh -huh. until thy wrath be passed. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Hide me in the grave and keep me secret. Where did they put Abraham, Black Eyes? What okay. happened to Abraham? Uh, everybody's in the grave, Brother Julius. Everybody's in the grave, whoever died. And the only one we have no, but no biblical reference to dying is Enoch. Uh -huh. But what about Jesus? Oh, what about Lazarus, he, he Black Eyes? Uh, Jesus was in a sepulcher. He loved Lazarus, didn't he? Uh-huh. So what happened to Lazarus? What did he say? Martha, his, uh, Martha, Jesus' cousin, said, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Uh -huh. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Show me where you what? Show me where, where you laid, laid him. him. Uh -huh. And then what did he say? Lazarus do what? Come forth. Ooh, not come down. Come forth. That's right. It's in the book. It's in the scripture, sisters and brothers. We can't go there for the sake of time. It but says, read about Lazarus. At verse 13, it yeah. says that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. Mm. But when is that time, brothers and sisters? Well, you want to go to Revelation 21st chapter? Let's go to Revelation 20th chapter. 20th chapter. Yeah. So let's find out when that time is that when those who have died, brothers and sisters. News break. Your family, your mother, your father, your grandparents. Let's find out when that time is going to be uh -huh. that they will be resurrected, brothers and sisters. Not a, not a moment before. Not one moment before. Nobody. Get, Jesus told you that I come. And my reward is with me to give to every man as his work shall be. Well, let's give you the order of things. This is what has to happen first. Come on, Black Eyes. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Revelation 20 and 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, yep. and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Uh -huh. Question is to you, brothers and sisters, is Satan bounded right now? Oh no, not or all this is he, in the world. Or is he running amok? Because <laughs> see, when Satan is bounded, we ain't going to have all these bombings and all these wars and all these shootings and, and all these ki killers, and rapes and, and murders. We're not going to have that when Satan is bound. We're not going to have it. So we know right now, Satan is not bound. So you know what that means? Sin is here. Sin is still here. That also means that your loved one have not been resurrected yet. But let's go ahead and finish. Go ahead, Ice. It says, And cast him into a bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should not deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. What thousand years are they talking about? The thousand year reign of Christ. So in other words, the thousand year reign of Christ has to begin in order for the first person to be resurrected. Let's read verse 4. Come on, read it. And I saw the thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto oh, them. Oh, they were judges. They weren't in the judgment. They were judges. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus uh -huh. and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads right. or in their hands, right. and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. This is yet future because everybody that's ever lived and died is in the grave. And brothers and sisters, this resurrection of the dead is attached to the thousand year reign of Christ. But Christ ain't came back yet. Mm. So you know what that means, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Our loved ones have not been resurrected yet. Mm. What is this resurrection called, though, brothers and sisters? Those who will be resur resurrected at the coming of Christ. What is this resurrection called? They got a name for it. Read it. Revelations 25. Yes. But but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. Why? Because this is the first resurrection. First resurrection. It is more than one resurrection. It's a thousand years different between the first resurrection and the great white throne judgment, which is the rest of the dead or the second resurrection. Why are they not teaching this in the church, brothers and sisters? Because they're too busy running back and forth and shouting and speaking in tongues. Wow. Wow. I, I'm looking at it. I look at it. 
Wow. I look at it. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. So this goes back to Andrea's question about fleeing out of Babylon. Out of that because see, that doctrine tells you that your loved one is in heaven looking down on you, smiling, brothers well, and sisters. Well, that, that leads us to the next question. Uh -huh. Who's up in heaven? Wow. Who occupies the estate that is called heaven, Black Ice? Let's go to John. Let's go to 1 John, uh -huh. the fifth chapter. 1 John 5. Uh huh. Who's in heaven if your loved one is not there? Let's find out who is in heaven, brothers and sisters. 1 mm. John 5. Uh huh. 1 John 5. Yes. And we're going to go to verse 7. You want to go there? Yeah. That's where we want to go. For there are three that bear. Record in where in heaven? Oh my gosh, which is where they reside, brother. Okay, and you said, but people say that there are people up in heaven. The book said that there are three that bear record in heaven. Who are they? Let's Ice? read about it. Yes, the Father, the Father, the Son, the Word, or the Son, the Son, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. No, no, I've been taught that these three are God. No, it didn't say that the, it don't say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy, it don't say that. Mm. I don't know who told you that or who put those titles on all three, but we can't read where all three are gods, but mm. we can read where two of them go by the title God. All you got to do is go to John wow. 1 and 1, St. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was, was God. God. The same was the beginning with God, and we could read to you. <laughs> we can read to you, sister, brother, where God anointed God. Wow, brother. Wait a minute, sister. black eyes. So, if there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then what did Jesus say? Oh, and Who's by, in heaven? Oh, and by the way, brothers and sisters, the only other type of beings that we can read that are in heaven other than the Father and the Son are angels. Now, now, now you're going deep, brother. Are angels holy, brother Julius? The, the, one, one, the, the ones that didn't sin against him are. So the ones that are up in heaven now are holy. And they are what? And they are also spirit. The mm. word spirit was translated to mean ghost, brothers and sisters. Mm. So there are holy spirits is say the devil or angels being? in heaven. And then there's the Father, and then there's the Son. Satan is a spirit being, brother. But is Julius. he a holy spirit? He's no longer holy so because opposite, he rebelled. So the opposite of being a holy spirit. And you wicked and a destroyer, you are an un unholy spirit. Oh. But why do that make so much sense? But why people can't receive it? Oh no. No, ain't no Holy Spirit, no angel. We can read to you. We can put a name on him. Better go to Daniel. That's another lesson for another time, brother. But Jesus, and the question is, who's up in heaven? That's right. Let's go to St. John the third chapter. St. John 3. We're gonna put Jesus, the creator and maker of us all. The Son of God, the Christ on the witness stand. St. John 3. And verse 12. 3 and 12. Yeah. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Uh-huh. And no man has ascended up to heaven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, black guys. Somebody going to put on here on the chat, in the chat room, y'all wrong. Brother Elijah was taken up into heaven. But which one? Oh, so. you you are taken up to heaven or every time you get in the airplane. Oh, so that's a heaven too, huh? That's a heaven too. Oh, but the Bible calls that the firmament, don't it? It does. But it also calls it heaven, though. Read it? Genesis the first chapter. Wow. Wow. Read Genesis the first chapter. It says that no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, uh -huh. even the son of man, which is in heaven. So Jesus, who's up in heaven? The father, the son. And the angels, brothers. And no man has ascended up to heaven. The Bible does not teach going to heaven, sisters and brothers. The Bible teaches thy kingdom what, Ice? Well, let's read it, Brother Julius. Oh. We're going to close out with this, brothers and sisters. And Matthew maybe, 6, chapter. And maybe we need to do another lesson on question and answers. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. And verse 9. Matthew 6 and 9. This is what we call the Lord's Prayer. Let's look at what the Lord said. After this manner, therefore, pray ye. When you pray. Go ahead, Ice. Our Father. Yes. Which are in heaven. Yes. Where's the Father at? In heaven. Uh -huh, because there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, Ice. Hallowed be thy name. Yes. Thy kingdom come. Thy what? Thy kingdom come. No, 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 no. We going up to the kingdom. It didn't say that. It said thy kingdom come. Uh-huh. Thy will be done on earth 
As it is in heaven. Oh, that will be done on earth. What do you mean that will be done on earth? Let's read now it. Now you got to go to the last place. Let's go to Revelation 21. The 21st chapter. And not only will we not go to heaven when we die, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. but when we are resurrected, we still not going to heaven. Let me show you what the Father is going to do. He is so generous. He is so kind. He is so graceful that he's going to hook this thing up where you ain't got to go nowhere other than what you already are. First, um, Revelations 21 chapter. And verse 1. Verse 1. Yes. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For uh -huh. the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. Because all of that is for flesh and blood. So the Lord is going to renew the face of the heaven and the earth like he did for man. Remember, he told Adam. The same thing he told Noah, multiply, be fruitful, and replenish the earth. And what the seas do or waters do, they divide, brothers and sisters. Mm. There would be no more need for divisions anymore in this resurrection. Come on, I says, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down. Oh, thy kingdom, our Father, which art in heaven, thy kingdom, what? Come, coming down from God, yes. out of heaven, Prepare. Oh, so now Jesus. Now I understand when Jesus said, "I, I go, go to, to prepare, prepare a place, place for, you. for you." In my Father's house are many mansions, but I'm going to prepare a place for you in my Father's house. That where I am, there shall you be. That's right. So when I bring my kingdom, thy kingdom, what I say? thy kingdom come. Read it. Finish it. Says, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared uh. as a bride adorned for her husband. Oh, prepared. Go ahead, Ice. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, look, <laughs> the house of God. The tabernacle of God? The tabernacle of God is with men. Oh, not you going up there with him. He coming to you. That's right. He always wanted to come to you. Even was here from the beginning. Go ahead, I finish And it up. he will live with them. And he will dwell with them, live, go ahead. So he's coming down here to live with us. And they, talking about us, right. men, shall be his people. Uh -huh. And God himself shall be with them. This but you've been taught all your life by this mystery Babylon religion. Come out of it. That we are going to live with God when this book says that God is coming to live The tabernacle us. of God is with men. Well, y'all a couple of false prophets. How could that be when we're reading the same book that you're reading? Maybe. And maybe. that's why we give you the scripture so you can go and look at it yourself. Maybe you've been given another Jesus. Maybe we'll say that for part two, Black Maybe man. you've been drunken with the doctrine of Mystery Babylon. That's why flee we need out to of her. flee out of her, brothers Come and out sisters. of this false doctrine and read the book and save yourselves, sisters and brothers. Listen, brothers and sisters, that's all we have time for today on the Bible Show Truth Hour here on the POET Network. Praise the Lord, God of Israel. We're going to um, go to our callers. And if you have any questions, the number is right there above. Right there above this video. And the beautiful thing about this show is that we are reading everything, brothers and sisters, from Scripture. We know so we're hurts. not telling you what we think or how we feel, brothers and sisters. All we're doing is reading the Word of God. And if you have a problem with something that we said, then you have a problem with what's written in this Bible because all we're doing is reading. See, some ministers, some churches, and some pastors will give you two verses and then develop a whole sermon. Oh, for two verses? Based on those two verses. We don't do that here on this show. We take you here a little, there a little. Old Testament? New Testament, line upon line, precept upon precept. So, brothers and sisters, we're going to go ahead and end this recording and go to the phone line and find out what the callers thought about tonight's show. As always, our motto on this show is, if you cannot read it, then please don't believe it, sisters and brothers. Do not believe it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay on the line.